Hi, Jessica here with A1C Wise, Attainable and Sustainable Weight Loss, Blood Sugar Control, and A1C Reduction. If you've been following my blog recently, you know that I'm doing a pretty intense 40-day cleanse. The idea behind this cleanse was that if I actually reduce the amount of toxins that I was putting into my body and on my body, minimize the amount of repair that my body had to do by removing exercise, both cardio and strength training, and really getting ample amounts of sleep, nutrients and water that my body could scan itself and recognize that my pancreas isn't functioning optimally and begin to heal itself. And although my 12-week program Type 1 to Type Awesome has been exceptional and truly transformed my life, my health, and my ability to stay lean, I want more because I believe that it is my body's natural state to be well and that if I do the proper things over a long period of time that my body can actually heal itself. I talked to a naturopath medical doctor who used to have type 1 diabetes and he talked to me about his program that not only worked for him but has worked for hundreds of other people with type 1 and type 2 diabetes who are insulin dependent, reverse the disease, regenerate their islet cells and have normally functioning pancreas so that way they're no longer insulin dependent. And so I was so excited about this process and the last 40 days have truly been incredible. Great blood sugars, been taking less insulin than I've ever taken in my life. I feel great, I look great, I'm energized, and I'm well rested. But now it's time for the final two weeks of the cleanse. So I talked to the naturopath last night and he said these two weeks are absolutely critical. So I continue to eat on the raw food diet, but I get to reintegrate both cardio and strength training. And this is what the program looks like. Five days a week for the next two weeks, I do cardio and strength training in the morning and I also do another cardio session at night. Cardio in the morning is 20 to 30 minutes, preferably on the treadmill at at least six miles per hour, and then 30 minutes of the strength training routine of my choice. You do this before you eat. Then you go home, you eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner and snacks as usual, and in the evening time, you go back to the gym and do another 20 to 30 minutes of cardio on the treadmill, again, at six miles per hour is the preferable speed. And you do that for two weeks. Simple and easy, right? So this morning when I woke up, I was so excited. Full disclosure, I'm a little bit of a gym rat, so it's been hard on me mentally and emotionally and also physically to avoid the gym for the last 40 days. So I was really, really excited about going this morning. And at the end, I felt great. I didn't even feel like I hadn't been there for 40 days. So like I said, I'm excited about this process and keeping you in the loop about the progress that I'm making. So let's take a little bit of my stats so we can see where I'm at today and then where I'm at in two weeks. I weighed in at 144.2 pounds today. I'm six feet tall. Uh, my morning blood sugar was 61, a little bit lower than I like to be honest, but I just turned off my pump and I did my strength training. After the 30 minutes of strength training, I was then 89. I got on the treadmill and I ran for 20 minutes and then I walked for two and I was 144. So looks like I probably should have taken my turn my pump back on for a little bit but live and learn so so excited about this can't wait to keep um, you in the loop and just follow me for the next two weeks and let's see where I'm at Jessica with A1C Wise have a great day thanks for watching this video and I'll see you tomorrow